Hi, I'm Tunja Kali, Marketing and Training Manager at Duquesne University Small Business Development Center. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Analytics and link it to your websites. Google Analytics is probably one of the most effective tools to see your website analytics and to see how your visitors are behaving, if they are going to specific websites, if they are reading your blog posts, or if your partner is referring visitors to your website or see the performance of your social media campaign to see if you're getting any visitors from your social media. So I will assume that you don't have an account or a property. So first, log into your Google, Google account and then go to analytics and then create an account. Just name your account, I will just say test. And you can leave these as it is. And then next, test and chain history. Eastern, if I can find it. Okay, here, New York. And then next, I'll say just one to 10 employees, small business, and let's assume I have an e commerce website. I will analyze my online sales. Well, let's set these. Okay, and now I have an account. I created my account and property. And then we will add data stream to our property. So select web. And then just enter your website. and then create stream. So this is your stream ID and this is your measurement ID. So you will, you will copy this part and paste it to your website. So I don't know if you're using WordPress, Squarespace, Shopify, or you have a web developer, but the process is pretty much same. So if you have, for example, Squarespace, then this is my website. And then go to settings. And then you will see advanced. And go to external API keys. Here, it has your Google Analytics account number. And if you're using the newer version, your account number is this. So just copy this and paste it here. If you're using the previous versions, probably you have a Google account number starting with UA, but with the Google Analytics 4, you will get an account number starting with G. And if you're using Wix, for example, then again, you will go to settings and then go to marketing integrations. Probably this is a paid feature. And you will see Google Analytics and select connect. And then select connect. So the idea is same. If you have a web developer, you can share your code with your web developer. If you're using any web builders like Wix, Weebly, or WordPress, you can just copy your tracking code and then paste it to the appropriate section. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can comment below.